in the words of Mr. Finch. What's up, everybody? Quick video. This will be a quick video. This will be a quick video because I'm not in the mood. I'm fasting today, so I'm kind of cranky. There's no TTMs. That made me cranky. And yeah, shallow I know <laughs> because I've gotten a good amount of mail in the last couple weeks, but I'm still expecting mm, three that I thought what I'd have last week that are not here. The Polish Pistola. But, uh, yeah, who is that? Seth Bazinski from Arizona. Ray Bork. And that one's from New Mexico. And Daniel Cormier. With Daniel Cormier, with Daniel Cormier, I sent my uh, spotlight edited in person face off with him. So I sent that. A sharpie and some cards, so I'm I'm getting salty about that one. I'm a, I'm a, I know I'm complaining. I'm being a baby. Like I said, I'm grumpy. But at least hey, I'm getting a haircut today, so that'd be fun. It'd be a little that'll be a little pampering. Everybody likes a little haircut, right? I do. So yeah, let's just move on. Moving on. I hope all you Facebookers are doing well. Not Facebookers. Look at I can't even think straight now. I need to eat. <laughs> All you YouTubers out there on the internet, I got this from Don. Oh, the lights aren't on. That may or may not have helped. I don't know. Oh, you're just getting DK raw and uncut here. So I got this in a trade um, just because I had three cards that somebody wanted, and this is what they had. So I took. Took their Jordy Nelson. So nice to get that for the Packers PC. And then I haven't had this one signed yet, I don't think, since I don't have a tracker on what I have signed. But nice signature from, um, I don't even know what weight class. He's just like a fly, flyweight, flyweight, flyweight champion, Demetrius Johnson. And then the former and future bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. So thank you, Don, for those. And Don is the one who created the Facebook page. That's probably why I said Facebookers before, because Don created the Facebook page, TTM MMA, with no spaces. Um, the 650 to 700 address database um, has been up uploaded. It's all A to Z. It's on there in the Files tab. So join in there, and we'll get you approved, and you can start posting on the TTM MMA group. This was a crap return. Back to the salty, um, complaining version of DK. So, there's this guy, Diego Brandau, okay? He was training at Jackson's in 2012. He won, was, was he a runner-up or something? He did, he did well in the Ultimate Fighter, right? Um, then he moved moved his camp to Texas, and then he took his last fight. He did camp in Brazil. Now he's back at Jackson's. I fired my TTM over to him, thinking I'd get some nice ink. And he even posted on Instagram, thank you for the fan letters, great to get the support, and things like that. So I thought, dude, this is going to be great, just like 2012. 2012, I got, let's just move over here. In 2012, I got this from Diego Brando. Nice, solid silver with a nickname, okay? Now look at this. I get this. You can't even tell it in this, because there's no silver. Some kind, sort of an etchy black crayon. Look, nothing even close, and even worse, the autograph, like, it used to just wipe right off. So it just wipes right off, see? So, I asked him what was up with that, and he said, sorry, he'll get a better marker. So now, just like that, I can resend that one. But that was supposed to be for him to keep. And here's another one where the ink is just garbage. So, we'll just take that off. He tried, but he changed. It looked like he was doing like a, a D and then a B in the middle. 
but did nothing close to what he used to do. And I already sent off another TTM to him in the meantime because there was two other cards I forgot to send. And, man, this is just full of... I'll get to the good stuff. I'll be happier in a little bit. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, and he kept the, the other card I wanted signed. Instead of keeping... I think he's supposed to keep I think he's supposed to keep this one. So yeah. Moving on. Moving on, moving on. Got another trade. Another trade. Another trade. This one I love. Because I didn't even know I needed this. I didn't know this card existed. Rory McDonald for my 2012 finest set, which I upgraded to that black background. So that card is going down there. To replace that unsigned card that is just a, a filler. So I got this Roy McDonald from a guy off of the TTMMA group, and then he threw this in as an extra, this Weidman um, Relic card, Matt Relic. Some cards I got signed in person from uh, UFC Fight Night 81 in Boston from my old pal ne uh, Nolan. I was trying not to get it screwed up. I get tongue-tied. I was tongue-tied. It's supposed to be Nolan. My buddy Nolan, thanks a lot, brother. Love these cards, especially because they're awesome blue. So there we go. Got a uh, Champions of Crookshank, who's been since who has since been released from the UFC. He'll be back. Thirteen Bloodlines. At least I think he'll be back. Um, blue on dark um, from Tim Boich. A really cool Ross Pearson. Nice to get this one done from Marcus Davis, who trains Tim Boich. A first time in my collection, Trinidad. I forget his first name. For Fran Francisco. Francisco. You guys know it's from the movie Elf? That's fun to say. Francisco. Paul Felder. Trains with Cowboy. Another Tim Bowich, but a flag parallel of a 13 blo 14 bloodlines. 14 bloodlines of Latifi. Travis Brown. Really nice ink and blue. And then boom. The former and future Ben Wayne champ, TJ Dillashaw. All right, we're going to wrap it up here because I'm getting texts. And I got Nick Lentz, who kind of used, uh, at least he didn't use the beat gold that has been going around. Um, I'm happy to get this. So yeah, Nick Lentz. I wanted them all signed, uh, the Carney, but he didn't do them on all. Here's the 14 champions, 15 champions. Um, and a moment of truth that he actually put Carney on. I thought, so th I think this one was the first one he tried. I think there's supposed to be five, five cards. I'm missing one somewhere. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. Uh, yep. And then these are the last two. I got these signed from a, by a friend. With help from a friend at the Arnold Classic in Ohio, I think. Uh, three weeks ago or so. So this one was for my set collection. I had forgotten that I never replaced this after I tra traded it away for something else. Uh, so this is actually number 191. So it goes beyond the 1 to 180 base set, but I still wanted it done. Uh, I think there's 200 total in the base set. plus the There's 180 plus this highlight reel set. See how it says highlight reel across there? I think there's like 20 or so of those. And I think I need to get... See, and here's some other ones. See, highlight reel of Vera. I could get that done by Couture, but he's being kicked, and it's not really nice to send it, send it, send that. Um, I think I got this one done. I need to get that one done, and I had that one done. These were just ones I pulled out of a base box, so I was kind of second guessing what I had. So that's that, and then this was a nice 2011 title shot. Just a great image. I've had this card for a really long time so it's nice to get that inked yep so we ended on the former whoops we ended on the former and future light heavyweight champ johnny bones jones and that's a wrap guys i'm glad i got through this seeing that ink kind of made me happier so i'm in a better mood so my intermittent my intermittent fasting will be done i might eat tonight but just to stay, stick to what I wanted to do, I was going to just eat breakfast in the morning. 
just uh, doing the intermittent fasting, which is like twice a week. So I try to go for 24 hours, at least 24 hours, like a full day of not eating. My plan is to do it Monday because it's coming off the weekend and Thursday because you're going into the weekend. So it's all part of my reformed eating habits. So it's been four weeks with no sugar or sweets. There's sugar in some of the food I eat, but not like sweets and candy and chocolate and all that. And then um, I've had no wheat except for last week I had some oatmeal and it just killed me. My eyes get all itchy with gluten and I get bloated and tired and irritable. That's it. So everybody have a great week and Lord willing we'll see you in church. Peace.